I would like to convey my greetings to the students belonging to third year honors courses of Government Rajendra College. Right now, I am going to give my deliberation on a play entitled Valponi, written by renowned playwright Ben Johnson. First of all, I would like to familiarize my students with a host of characters which will feature in course of your reading of this particular play. Valponi, Valponi himself is the protagonist and he is a nobleman of Venice. He feigns illness to attack legacy hunters. Another important character is Mosca a parasitic character, a flutterer, and in realizing the dream of Valponi, Mosca assists Valponi to a large extent. He is a trickster, he is a sort of villainous character. In the course of your study, you will also come across Sir Politic Woodby and Lady Woodby. These two individuals come from England. They, are, they don't have Italian nationality. There are a number of legacy hunters Carbasio, Corvino, Valtor are some of them. These characters are overtaken by excessive greed or avarice. They want to inherit the property left behind by Valponi. Valponi gives the impression that he is going to die at any moment and the legacy hunters being duped by Mosca and Valponi bring some valuable or precious gifts to Valponi. These gifts are offered to Valponi and Valponi has an ulterior motive he is a trickster by utilizing his tricky device he intends to exploit those legacy hunters. Dear students, in the course of your study of this particular play you will notice that this particular play is the depiction of a comedy of humor and you will also be able to understand that it is a sort of comedy of humor. Ben Johnson has manifested his unparalleled genius in depicting or delineating some of the characters who are the embodiment of the society. As a beast fable, this play is successful. The human characters have been manifested in the guise of some beasts or beastly characters, but the play delineates the real picture of the society to a large extent. If you think of poetic justice, you will notice that justice is, according to some of the literary enthusiasts, justice is meted out to the wrongdoers. They are punished for their malpractices, for their corrupt practices and the punishments are to be mentioned here. Valpuni is ordered to be imprisoned and to be put in chain. Another noticeable phenomenon is that his entire property is confiscated and given to hospitals for charitable purpose. And the license of vulture is cancelled and in case of Mosca, you will notice that he receives severe punishment. He is whipped and he is sent as a galley slave. Corvino is ordered to return the dowry and stand in 
pillory. Due to time constraint, it is difficult on my part to discuss in detail or to provide you with a graphic picture regarding Valpony, but you have a moral or moral teaching in the play. We notice that if you if you evaluate the character of Corvino, you will notice that he does not hesitate to sacrifice the honor of his wife for the sake of property. In case of Valpony, the protagonist of the play, we can really comprehend that. He is in favor of adopting malpractices with a view to achieving his ends, with a view to achieving ulterior motive. And subsequently, we notice that all the characters are punished. Not all the characters are punished. We also notice some good-hearted characters such as Celia and Bonario. But the evil dwarves, the wrong dwarves or the perpetrators receive their punishment. You will have to focus on two important broad questions, a beast fable and comedy of humor. I think that from my brief deliberation, from my brief interpretation with regard to the significance of Valpony, you have been capable of gathering some key ideas, some basic ideas with regard to the significance of the poem. I think that you will reap immense benefit from this brief lecture. I extend my thanks to all of you. I am going to wind up my speech. We may have virtual session, virtual class later on. I extend my thanks to each and every individual. Thank you.